Mr. President, Vice Presidents, Distinguished Delegates, United Nations, Seventh General Assembly's Seventh Session. I have the great honor to introduce to you Mr. Dagha Marshall, your new Secretary General for the United Nations. I bring to this task a firm will to devote myself without any reserve to the work carried out by the United Nations Organization in pursuit of its high aims. I am here to serve you all. In so doing, I shall count on your understanding, on your advice, and on your will to give to what I have to say the attention that it may deserve. I am animated by a desire to meet all problems with an open mind. It is for you to judge how I succeed. It is for you to correct me if I fail. This great organization grew out of the pain and turmoil of the last war. It welded together in what should be a continued cooperation for world peace, all those who had fought against oppression. By all who have sacrificed themselves, <coughs> by all sacrificing themselves in the fight for freedom and peace, this organization has, in the words of one of the great leaders of democracy, been consecrated far above our full power to add or detract. May I quote also these other words from the Gettysburg Address? The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did. It is for us, the living, to be dedicated here to the unfinished task which they have thus far so nobly advanced. It is for us, it is rather for us, to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. In concluding, may I remind you of the great memory just celebrated by the Christian world. May I do so because of what that memory tells us of the redeeming power of true dedication to peace and goodwill toward men. We are of different creeds and convictions. Events and ideas which to some of us remain the very basis of our faith are elements of the spiritual heritage of man which are foreign to others. But common to us all, and above all other convictions, stands the truth once expressed by a Swedish poet when he said that the greatest prayer of man does not ask for victory, but for peace. I have not gone into any of the specific problems facing this organization some of them now harassing all minds. But I have tried to indicate the spirit in which I shall go to the work when called upon to take part in the efforts of the United Nations Organization to justify the hopes of all its members.